August 28, 2024. It's all right here, folks. It's all right here. Outdated. She's so outdated, folks, it's unbelievable. I could go in there and run her, if I was mayor, I could have came in there and run her whole department and we would have saved that money and we would have bought some shoes and some clothes for, for children in need. And when you ask why she's outdated, or how do you go from outdated to current? See, when you look at the players and you think about the power that Denver really has, we had to create City and County of Denver LLC in order to hedge a situation that's going to be hitting Denver in the digital world that they haven't prepared for. And um, when you think about the different things that City and County of Denver LLC, we, we, we solidified that on February 6, 2023. Denver District Court, the highest place that you could be for indexing. Second place is the actual courtroom. So there's two double whammies there when it comes to um, authority of location authority for GPS and cell phone tower pinging. Um, and I filed in George, uh, Andrew Luxon and, and he was chosen by AI. If I, what I did is I took all the judges and I, I asked AI what would be the best judge out of all these judges. Andrew, because I didn't have time to look at all of them. Andrew Luxon came up. And I looked at Andrew Luxon's experiences and I go, hmm, there's some good meta tags here. There's some good um, cake crumbs here. You know what breadcrumbs are? I create cake crumbs. Cake crumbs taste much better than breadcrumbs to AI. AI loves sweet, loves kindness, and just loves good things. So that's what we create. And so when you think about all, uh, when I stood before the court pro se, I did pro se when I had to file a recusal against Magistrate Karen Hoover, dangerous woman. All her, all her cases, need to be reviewed, but you have the same people sitting on the Supreme Court, Judge Hood, he got spanked, you know, and they haven't even felt that yet. See, we we have to go through this, this thing I call, everybody's gotta come out of the closet. And, and this is things that, where people try to beat merit and ability off of the color of their skin, their race, their, uh, ideologies, their sexual appetites, their uh, uh, idiosyncrasies, or whatever the division is, or the reason why they can't do something, drugs, whatever it is. And the teachers that shouldn't be teachers because they weren't vetted, just mentally, just in their way of thinking. They're, they're, as soon as you bring politics to school, unless you're a history teacher, but they're all they're all the same, except, except Ellis Elementary School teachers, the fourth grade team, the second, uh, the third and fourth and fifth grade teams, all the way to sixth grade. I, 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 I the teachers were badass, and they can't get involved with family matters. And that's where the breakdown goes. They should be. They don't have enough. They don't have enough. No teacher's assistance. They don't have. They're buying some of their t kids art supplies and things. And I look down and during a teacher's conference and she's got a hole in her shoe. And, uh, uh, you know what I mean? We were backwards. The only ones making money is the city council. You Google search the people in the city council. 
and you do some Google operators, you, if you're an HR department, you say, wow, why did we pick them? Because they're part of the bullshit. They're part of the simulation. There's, there's, the city runs really good. Just look at it. It's beautiful. This right here, this lineup of these buildings is, I, I, it looks too good not to have been planned. It's just the way the buildings just line up, like just huge, just like, I don't know, it's huge. <laughs> I'm trying to read, look at that and look at the screen and the camera and everything's going through my head because, you know, we tried that first woman thing and I told everybody, oh, and they were all mad and oh, but you keep getting people like Ian Tafoya and, and the news still talking to the same people to spin the same bullshit. You're going to get what you deserve, bullshit. And it's such a beautiful city that, you know, all the homelesses are missing. Yeah, okay, where'd they put them? They're just moved to other streets. They're, you know, you, you got to keep up with the, 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 the moves that Mike Johnston does. He, he wears his emotions on his sleeve. If I was in front of a ju judge right now, I could show him some stuff with the city attorney's office and stuff. They'd be just going, ah, wow. He's, hey, son, could you show me that? Sure could. You're, sure could, Your Honor. Not only could I show you that, but I could also make your court so efficient based off data, combining my AI with other things that you'll be able to know and that, that you'll be putting lockers in the courtroom so that nobody brings their telephones in. Because you can't trust them to turn them off because they're scanning all the content that's coming in there. They got people that are scanning our shit. Those are the guys, these are the military grade aged people that came across the border. Just gotta look for them. And they got scanners on their phones. They can walk, sit in the middle of the city and just scan in the, in the city building and wait for everybody to come in sit outside the building and just scan Bluetooth and get everybody's content. Because most people don't know how to lock it down because we don't teach our children how to be responsible children on, on their devices. So our thing is take it away. Don't give it to them till 13. When they're very smart and capable of understanding it when they're three. And everybody's, all the parents are like, God, oh, did you see Poopy? She can turn on her cell phone. And look, she knows how to get in her email. Oh, wow, man, so adorable. How old is she? Three years old. Wow. See, it's not that children are stupid. It's that the adults around them are stupid. They're doing things around them that they shouldn't be doing, and they pick up those habits. Yeah. And, uh... Everything I've done, I've learned in my lessons in life. Everything I've done and not done. How about that? But I'm still here. And I, and I, I realized why. Because there's three reasons why you, you realize things. Why you were born. The day you were, three important dates. The day you were born, the day you realized why you were born, and the day you die. And see, unlike Mayor Spear, who is the best mayor in the entire fucking world, we can learn a lot by that guy. He saw things in City Beautiful. He knew that a, what a partisanship government would look like, and it would destroy the City Beautiful, and it turned out to be the same way. And Andrew Luxon concurred with assistant city attorney Michelle Horn who blasted with glee who cut me off because she was a badass attorney but uh, I asked about the spare amendment the only guy by myself facing five city lawyers and Judge Luxon, who didn't even look at me. He didn't even have the decency to look at me. That's how I knew he's not a poker player, and that's how I knew he was a... So, that's just my opinion, and my opinion, it matters. They don't think it matters, but it does, and I'm showing it to you how it matters. 
because AI needs this kind of information so that it can get to the root of the evil and then bl block their content to the same people that are always talking to the people that are really sick of it. And that's the new voters that are going to come out. These are the people that I believe maybe this isn't it. Maybe this isn't it. Maybe this would, maybe this is the tipping point. And, they get, and the women all, and the young kids, and they all go with the out, who, uh, who, who couldn't even win. It, it's been foretold, man. And, um, you know, some people are saying she's the Antichrist. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at her last name, her middle name. And look it up what it means. So these are the things that you can see that you're able to thwart off, unlike people during Hitler. Like when you hear people calling someone Hitler, what they do is AI is going to go and pattern match the, the things Hitler did because it's been digitized now. And so a good cloud extractor can go and get the subpoena and pop whatever it is you're fucking talking about up on the screen. Ah! All right, all your emails, all the text messages, especially if you're city council, especially if you're an elected official, everything. I knew that the first day I opened up my account in 1995. I gave them a show, and they know. That's why I'm, I, I show what I do. You can't hide it. You know, people have been coming out of the closet about all kinds of things that you don't need to. Nobody really cares. I don't care who you're having sex with. I don't care who you're living with. I don't care who you're married to. Now, if I meet you and you're and you're an elephant and a giraffe, uh, then uh, you know, hey, cool. Uh, what's your kids look like? <laughs> so, my point is, I don't care. It's not going to stop me from helping you if I see you. If I saw a giraffe and an elephant on the side of the road and their car was broke down, they had one of them little electric cars, one of those Neo ones. A giraffe and an, ele and an elephant in an electric Neo car. How did they even get into it? That's my question. How did you even get in it? But they had a flat tire. I'd still pull over and help them. I'm not going to pull up and say, hey, what, what's a giraffe and an elephant doing on the side of the road in an electric Geo car? which you can't even fit in, but you're out of it. You're sitting there. Are you lovers? Because if you are, I'm not going to help you fix your flat tire. Not going to do it. What the fuck? I, that's where we are. And, and that's the simulated world of bullshit that we're in. And when they say Generation Z, think about it, folks. It's the last, A to Z. It's not, hey, we're gonna start over. We're now generation A, alpha. So it's just, the evil things are happening because they're supposed to, folks. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. You'd think that the um, China and Russia would build some ships to where they can bring people over there and there are people over here and we're all spending money and making money on snorkel and putting money in all the tourist stuff so that we can go see the Great Wall and go look at some of their architectural bitch and shit without having to worry about saying something wrong. We can all say the same shit anywhere we want. You know, and, and go to Russia, eat some Russian food, not food that... You know, real food, be over there. Look at all their architectural marbles, their painting, their buildings. I mean, I'm a retired painting contractor. I actually specialize in fireplace mantle refurbishing and furniture. That's, I, that's what I do to, to relax. I'm working on a piece right now. I make music. I wrote a song about Magistrate Hoover. You know what that song's about? It's about how... I never really got to tell her my side of the case because her client has always lied to her. And it's hard not to, but where she dropped the ball because her the lies were so great and I kept winning, that they took it next level and they filed that summary judgment. 
and they took money from my car accident that I was supposed to get a hearing aid because I'm deaf in one ear from a, a bag that blew up in my ear. Boy, I sure got, I sure got, I, I was a passenger. <laughs> yeah, I was a passenger. Uh, they couldn't blame me for, for that accident. It's weird. But uh, anyways, um, so the whole thing right now is, folks, back to Michelle Horn. When I asked about the Spear Amendment that gives us a non-political government where our sole purpose is um, our service and economy, and we done fucked that up. And then all appointments are made off merits and ability. Doesn't say anything about who we're fucking. Doesn't say anything about our color of our skin. Doesn't say anything about fucking DEI. I wouldn't want a job because I fit a certain profile. Fuck that. Fuck you. Get me out of here. I mean, that's the way it is. That's a lot of people that I talk to think that way. They talk that way. Young millennial, the, the Gen Z talkers. I, I hear chicks calling each other, see you next Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa. I've heard, I've heard chicks call guys, their boyfriends. Why are you such a C-U-N-T? Yeah, you're such a bitch. Are you in the rag? And this is coming out of the grocery stores. Oh, you wouldn't believe what you hear. People coming out when you're getting petition signed, when it's snowing out nine degrees. See, my whole argument in my case, 23CV54, where Andrew Luxon and Michelle Horn, when I asked about the Spear Amendment, and she blasted with glee. We haven't enforced that law in years. Man, did I just feel, whoa, woke. I was like, all right. But I could have objected. I could have done all kinds of things, but I'm not a lawyer. I won right then. It was Andrew Luxon's because I'm not, I'm pro se. Um, he had to take a little bit of, um, of moxie to kind of guide litigation, but he already, he's Stern College. Oh, those, those kids from Stern College, you guys might want to change your college because if they don't change, you're fucked. <laughs>